as a kid, I had a dream of becoming a forest officer. Being in the forest with the rifle and the dog and just enjoying smells and sounds and enjoying nature. Today, I know that it takes a lot of planning and a lot of management to make sure there will be a forest in the future as well. Denmark is a very small country and uh, our forest area are very limited too. So we have to integrate different uses in the same area. We need to look at biodiversity, at recreational purposes, and you need to look at production purposes. In my job, I also have the contact to the different interest groups. Hi. They have different point of views on how we should use or protect the nature. And then it's my job to find the most optimal solution. Then there are a few options over here that uh, could be relevant, but I think in most cases you can go. This two-year master program has a high degree of freedom and you're given the tools such as conflict management and project management and change management to make you a decision maker and problem solver within forest and nature management. So it's not only for, for biodiversity, animals and so on, but also for human beings. You like to be here, don't you? The education contains both field work and, of course, theoretical readings. Then you also have the opportunity to go study abroad. I was so lucky to go to the US in Idaho to study for half a year. Knowledge on sustainable use of natural resources can be used globally. As a graduate from this program, you would normally look for jobs within the industry, government or NGOs. One of the best things about the education is the way we learn to look at a problem from different perspectives. Always have both the social and ecological and economical value in mind when planning something. I've always loved nature, so I'd like a job where I can work for a sustainable use of natural resources for future generations. <laughs>